I'll just start off just looking back at the game, uh, looking through it last night again this morning. You know, good team win uh, defensively, you know, uh, awesome by those guys, you know, four sacks and then the two pick sixes by Kenny Moore were huge. Um, but just to get back on track with a win there uh, on the road will be big uh, going into this week uh, in Germany versus the Patriots. We'll go ahead and get started with James. Tan, when you look at um, the way you all were able to defend, defend Bryce Young, how much of it was, you know, you're looking at whatever tendencies he has um, earlier in his career versus what you all do well and making sure you stick to those principles? Yeah, no, I think Gus uh, and his staff did a heck of a job putting the guys in position to go make plays. Um, some of the stuff they did offensively, um, Gus had a really good plan for. Uh, and then obviously the pass rush was getting there. Um, and doing a good job of collapsing the pocket there and, you know, creating those turnovers and those sacks uh, were big. Yeah. Coach, w w with the Germany trip coming and you, you guys have had this pl plan for a long time, what went into the decision-making process? You know, try to keep it as normal as you can, get over there late. What went into all this? There's a lot of research. I mean, there's teams that go over earlier. Some teams go over later. Uh, you know, I, I feel like the majority of teams go on Thursday. Uh, I was a part of a London trip back in, you know, 17, 18. We went over on a Thursday, uh, took a red eye, slept, uh, got there. I uh, tried to treat it like a normal day, um, did our normal deal on Friday, um, and then had our walkthrough on Saturday and then played the game. Um, but just a, a lot of information gathered uh, from teams that have went over there and done it. Uh, and that's how we went about it. Is it again? Is it just try to keep the week as normal in an in an abnormal week? Yeah, that's right. Try try to try to keep them uh, on schedule as much as possible. Um, just you know, you know, you're over there whatever three days, and and uh, you know, go try to win a football game, and that's it. Try to keep it as normal as possible. Thanks, coach. Yeah, Raven. Everybody knows how valuable Zaire is to this defense. And so for Sagun to kind of step in in the middle of the D, wearing the green dot, communicating the plays, just how do you feel like he performed this past Sunday? I thought he did a really good job of stepping in. You know, we always talk about next man up. And, uh, you know, he had five tackles, then obviously had the interception there down the middle of the field. Um, but for him to go in and do what he did um, was, was awesome to see. And that's always good for, you know, any player on the team that has the you know, opportunity to go in and make some plays. Uh, when their numbers called, uh, it was really good to see from him. And we always hear about next man up and the importance of just being prepared. But how difficult can that be, especially filling in such a pivotal spot in the defense? Yeah, no, it, it could be difficult. But I think if you prepare the right way uh, throughout the week and, you you know, you know, you might have a chance to play and you go about it like you're the starter every single week, whether you're the backup or you're playing, um, I think it gives you the best opportunity to go succeed uh, on Sundays. James. Shane, um, obviously the offense um, didn't have a, like a fantastic day yesterday. So how would you look at, I guess, where it, it needs to go or how it needs to get going? Obviously, Kenny pre the offense yesterday, but obviously you can't bank on two pick sixes every week. Yeah, there's no question. You know, I think we've done some really good things offensively. And then yesterday in the first half, uh, we were decent, could have been better. But the second half, you know, we need to be better there in the second half um, going forward. We got to play complimentary football uh, every single week, offense, defense, special teams, especially, you know, you like I said, we're getting it later into the season, November, December games. Uh, we all got to be hitting on all cellulars and that's all three phases um, doing their job. Yeah. Well, following up on what James said, how much your approach as far as aggression, whatever, offensively, did, did the game itself play into, I mean, you didn't take a lot of risks. Maybe you didn't need to take a lot of risk. I don't know if I'm overthinking it. No, that's a good, that's a good assessment. Um, our defense was playing really well. Um, you know, we were trying to run the football there. Uh, they did a really good job against the run in the second half. Um, but yeah, there, there's time and a place to be aggressive. Um, and you know, the second half wasn't that for us in that game. Did we see what we saw with the, 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 the workload division between JT and Moss. Is that sort of how it feels like you want to do it as far as using these two guys? Yeah, like, you know, every week, you know, JT, obviously, like we said, he's got the home run ability. He's actually running really well. We got two really good backs, and, you know, we'll evaluate that every week. But, you know, obviously, JT is a really, really good player, and he got the bulk of the carries, you know, going into, you know, his fifth game. Uh, and then we'll look at it again this week and see where it goes.
One last, is Michael Pittman okay? I mean, sometimes you get lit up like that, and that night you don't feel so – is he okay? Yeah, he is. I'll tell you what, he is tough as nails. Uh, that hit he took and then comes back in, um, just the toughness he plays with every week shows up. There's no doubt. Thanks, Coach. And how is uh, – real quick, how is Drew doing with his foot? He's doing good. We'll see, we'll see how it goes this week.